In today's video, we're talking about safe zones for YouTube Shorts, what it is, and why it matters to your content. And we'll do that right now. Hey, what's going on everyone? I'm Brian White and welcome back to Video Zeus. On this channel, we talk about all things video, from video creation down to video editing. So if you're into that kind of stuff, please consider clicking that subscribe button now. Now, you may be wondering exactly what are safe zones. Imagine a rectangle outline around the screen like this. Anything in the middle is safe because it's viewable on the screen. Anything on the outer edge of this rectangle is considered unsafe. That's because back in the day in broadcast television, you wanted to make sure that anything that was on screen was actually being viewed. If it was on the edge of the screen, it had a chance to be cut off by the screen. Therefore, your footage or a title graphic on screen would be cut off. Therefore, not legible or not being communicated the way you want it to be. So they created these safe zones allowing creators back then to build graphics and compose their shots in a way that would allow them to ensure that everything is being cleanly viewed. And as much as this pertains to horizontal video, the same is true for vertical video. And so when we talk about safe zones for social media video, TikTok, YouTube Shorts, and Instagram Reels, what we're talking about, the safe zone, is the area that's untouched by all the little icons around the screen. You see, you don't want to have a title on screen, whether it's a subtitle or an on-screen text. You don't want to have that on screen and then have it blocked by the icons. One, it makes it hard to read. Two, it just makes it look unprofessional, and nobody wants that. What you want is to make sure that your titles and your subtitles are in the safe zone. So how do you know exactly what the safe zones are when it comes to YouTube Shorts? I see a lot of creators that use subtitles and on-screen text sort of be guessing about where in the middle, up top, up bottom, where these things would go where they wouldn't be affected by the icons around the edges. And that's where the video creation tool called Kapwing can help us out because they have guides in their platform that show us the safe zones for YouTube Shorts, Instagram Reels, and TikTok. So if you're not familiar with Kapwing, please follow the link in the description below to create your free account so you can jump in and see it for yourself. So now let's take a look at some real world examples to show you where I'm coming from. So once you're logged into Kapwing, you wanna click on this button called Create New Project. And then right here is where you can upload your footage or you can actually paste a link to an existing video. And that's what I'm doing right here. I've selected a couple videos to show you. So I'm simply gonna paste a link into this area right here and it's going to load the video up. And once that video is uploaded, we can go ahead and play the video. And as you can see, this one is about the solar system and it's got some titles on screen that are basically acting as subtitles throughout the video. I like these subtitles because they're nice and bold and they're easy to read. However, when we click off of this video and onto the timeline, we can see this option over here that shows safe zones. And for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna start with the YouTube Shorts safe zones, which you can see right here by clicking on this icon. So when I pop on those safe zones, now we can see what the frame of YouTube Shorts is. In other words, what the safe zone is for YouTube Shorts. And as you play the video with the safe zones on, you can see that some of the text on this video is actually being blocked or covered by the icons around the YouTube Shorts frame. And that's what we want to stay away from. Let's look at another example. This one is from Mr. Beast. Pretty standard video with some subtitles in the middle. We'll go ahead and click to have the YouTube Shorts safe zones on. You can see this video does a pretty good job of keeping the text inside the middle of the safe zone. There is a spot right here where it says jar of peanut butter where potentially that R 
could be uh, touching one of the icons on the YouTube Shorts. Now, is that a big deal? Not quite, but if you're the editor of that video and you're editing this for Mr. Beast and Mr. Beast watches this video, then you might be in trouble because again, we don't want anything that we're communicating on screen to be covered by anything that's around the frame of the video. Let's take a look at another example. So this is another example of a video that's been subtitled. These subtitles are in the very center of the screen, it appears. And that's what's interesting about this YouTube Shorts kind of safe zone is that essentially, if you're going to put subtitles in it, it's not due center, meaning it's not going to be right there in the middle of the frame. It's actually going to be a little left justified, as you can see there. And right there, that little line that says that it needs more than me, that M-E, that E of the me is being blocked a little bit by that icon. Now let's take a look at another example from the creator Alex Hormozzi. I may be butchering his last name, Tormarski. But what I love about his videos is the style of the subtitled text. So let's take a look at how his video lines up with the YouTube short safe zones. So for the most part, everything is right there in kind of the, the bottom center of the screen. And again, I love his subtitles because they're super bold, they're easy to read, and they're multicolored. It just makes the whole video really pop. Oh, here we go. This one right here where it says, I didn't understand brand. You can see the D would be covered by the icon. Let's find another spot. You can see right there, I think that's super warranted. The D would be covered by an icon. Now, is this going to make or break how your video performs online? I don't know, you tell me. Does trying to read subtitles on screen that are covered by icons annoy you? Is it enough for you to swipe up or click away from the video? Probably not that big of a deal. However, when you make a video, you want to make sure you're putting your best foot forward. And that also includes ensuring that your titles are in a safe zone. And that's what I love about Kapwing, because not only is Kapwing just this video creation tool, they also care about how your content is distributed. And therefore, right there in Kapwing, you can see it has the show safe zones button. And that means a lot to me as a video creator and a video editor, because I want to ensure that whatever video I'm making, whether it's for me or for a client, it really helps ensure that the video you're creating is being viewed the way it's meant to be viewed. And so again, if you're not familiar with Kapwing, follow the link in the description below. You can create your free account. You can put your video inside that tool to see how your videos line up and maybe this will save you from a big headache down the road and ensuring that your videos are actually being viewed properly. Once again, thanks for watching Video Zoos, helping you spend less time making better videos.